This is amazing. Now we have Olama embedding. You can create RAG application with better performance using this embedding. In this, we are going to ingest data from URL, convert those to embeddings, and then store in vector database. So when we ask a question, the relevant data will be sent to the large language model using Olama, and finally we get a more relevant answer. We are going to use Chroma DB, Nomic embedding, and Mistral's large language model. Finally, we are going to add that in user interface using Gradio. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Olama embedding. Especially we are going to use Nomic embed text model for embedding. Why Nomic? Nomic embed text has a higher context length and it surpasses OpenAI's embedding models. You can see Nomic embedding model performance in this chart. Finally, we are going to create a user interface like this. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this, but before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel, so do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure to click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In this, we are going to use Langchain, put all the pieces together. So pip install Langchain, Langchain community and Langchain core and then click enter. Next, create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, from Langchain community, import web base loader, chroma, embeddings, chat olama, runnable pass through, string out parser, chat prompt template, character text splitter. Now we are going to define the model, which is Mistral. So now we're going to see four steps. One is to retrieve the data from the URL, split the data. And the second step is to convert that to embedding and store in vector DB. And third, we are going to perform the rag. So first split data into chunks. So I'm passing the list of URLs. Now I'm going to use web base loader to extract all the data from those URLs. Next, combining those data. Now we are going to use character text splitter. And here we are going to divide the chunk and the chunk overlap is 100. For example, this is the chunk size and the overlap between different chunks is chunk overlap. Next, splitting those documents. Now we have completed the first step of splitting the chunk. Next, we are going to convert those documents into embeddings and store them in vector database. So we are going to initiate chroma DB. So from documents, that's where you pass all the documents, give a name for the collection, and here is where we are defining the Olama embeddings. So the model name we are giving is Nomic Embed Text. Next, we are using the Retriever. This is used to retrieve relevant documents when we ask a question. So the third step is RAG. So we are going to compare before RAG and after RAG. So printing for our reference, before RAG template, and getting the prompt template using chat prompt template. Next, creating the uh, RAG chain. So first the prompt will be sent to the large language model. So the prompt is what is the topic name and then that will be sent to the large language model, Mistral. And finally we get the output. Now I'm going to print and invoking the chain and providing the topic, which is Olama. So that is before rag, next after rag, the same process as before. So we are defining the rag template. Here, the main difference is that we are providing the context prompt template as before, and then we are defining the rag chain. Here we are providing the context and also the question. Finally, we are invoking the chain and asking a question. That's it, only few lines of code. So first we extracted the data from the URL and split the document into chunks. Next, we converted those to embeddings, stored them in Chroma DB. Next, we are passing the prompt template and invoking the chain. Now I'm going to run this code. So make sure you've downloaded Olama, then Olama pull nomic embed text to pull the model. Also, Olama pull Mistral to download Mistral model. Now type python app.py and then click enter. So here I have added the log on the right hand side so you can see the performance. So you can see embedding took 219 milliseconds approximately. So that is really fast. And also you got the answer here. So before rag, I'm sorry for the confusion, but Olama doesn't seem to be a widely recognized term. So after rag, Olama is a local AI model server that allows user to run large language model on their own machine. Now we have created a RAG application which can run completely locally on your machine with zero cost. Now we are going to add user interface to this. So I've modified the code a little bit, added Gradio at the top, then I moved everything to the function process input with the list of URLs and the question. So I'm going to split the URLs, then do the same process again. And finally, assigning the function name here having two inputs. One is for entering the list of URLs and another one to ask a question. 
Finally, interface.launch. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python ui.py and then click enter. Now I've got the URL here, I'm going to open it. So here's the URL. I'm going to provide this URL. Next, going to provide this URL and going to ask what is Olama and click submit. Now it's processing the request and here is the response. Based on the context provided, Olama is a platform or software that enables user to run and create large language models locally with support for macOS, Linux and Windows. This is exciting. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.